is Tuesday, October 15th, 2019. I'd like to call the council as a whole committee uh, to order. Uh, please be advised that uh, FATV is conducting audio and video recording of this meeting. Um, I would ask that anyone else in the audience who is recording uh, to please stand and identify themselves um, for the record now. Is there any such person wishing to record? Seeing none. Uh, the agenda will consist of the, the following this evening. Uh, Councillors, you received the, uh, the appointments letter from myself uh, for uh, Miss Mary D'Alderete. Um, so I'll read, uh, we have two communications. Uh, I'll read both, uh, at which point uh, I'll allow the, uh, the candidate to, uh, to take over from there. Uh, September 26th, uh, 2019, the Honorable Fitchburg uh, City Council. Dear Councilors, I am pleased to recommend and ask for your confirmation of the appointment of Ms. Uh, Mary D'Alderete as uh, the City Clerk, effective January 8th, 2020, for a three-year term expiring January 8th, 2023. Ms. D'Alderete will take the place of Ms. Anna M. Farrell, uh, who is retiring from the position uh, January 7th, 2020. Very truly yours, uh, Michael Kushmarek. Uh, and the next letter uh, regarding the search committee uh, and city for city clerk. Uh, dear fellow councilors, a search committee was established in July 2019 with its primary goal of providing a recommendation to the council for a candidate to fill the city clerk position. This vacancy is due to the retirement of current city clerk Anna Farrell, January 7th, 2020. The following individuals uh, served on the search committee, uh, Michael Kushmerick, city council president uh, and search committee chair, uh, Jeff Bean, former mayor and former city councilor, Jody Joseph, former city council president, uh, Elizabeth Walsh, ward six uh, city councilor who served as an alternate uh, for Jody Joseph, uh, Calvin Brooks, city auditor, Francisco Ramos, uh, community organizer for New View Communities, uh, and Ms. Susan Davis, uh, Director of Human Resources. The position was advertised from July 9th uh, to August 18th, 2019 through a variety of associations and media outlets. <coughs> we received 17 applications during the aforementioned time period. The committee selected five candidates to interview. The interviews were conducted with the candidates and concluded on September 20th, 2019. A member of the Police Department, License Commission, and Building Department each provided feedback to the search committee during the final round of interviews. Upon completion of two rounds of interviews and with careful consideration, the search committee unanimously selected one candidate for recommendation and hire, Ms. Mary D'Alderete. The members of the committee were greatly impressed with Ms. D'Alderete's uh, qualifications, experience, and abilities. She is a certified municipal clerk, CMC, a notary republic, and justice of the peace. Uh, she is currently serving as town clerk for the town of Carlisle, uh, Massachusetts. Her past experience spanning more than 12 years in municipal government includes serving as town clerk to the town of Lancaster, where she served as the chief election officer for all state and municipal elections. Uh, through her role in Lancaster, Ms. D'Alderete was instrumental in successfully implementing early voting. She was responsible for, for the recording of all vital statistics, certification of town meeting votes and records, and oversaw the preparation of the annual census and annual town reports, among a wide range of other responsibilities. Her past experience also uh, includes services assistant town clerk in the town of Acton, uh, where she was a key figure in elections and uh, town meeting, while also uh, responsible for the issuance of dog and business licenses, uh, as well as vital records requests. Given her qualifications, experience, and collaborative style, the members of the search committee fully endorse Ms. Mary D'Alderete uh, for the position of city clerk, respectfully submitted, uh, Michael Kushmerick, Fitchburg City Council President. Uh, and so, um, councilors, it, it, was a, it was a fairly extensive search process. Um, I wanted to ensure that we had uh, other city councilors uh, who, who have previously spanned other uh, city clerk um, administrations, if you will, uh, in different times throughout um, uh, Fitchburg's council. Uh, ultimately, the, uh, the search committee came back unanimously. Um, all of us, um, particularly myself, were, were thrilled uh, with the candidate that is before you this, this evening. Uh, I'll acknowledge this is a uh, very weird and awkward uh, process for me with our current city clerk sitting right here who has uh, served the city with distinction um, for, uh, for decades. 
uh, so uh, so earmuffs, excuse me. Um, and but ultimately, I believe the candidate in front of us uh, is is able to hit the ground running on day one, uh, and will be able to continue to grow uh, in the role uh, and help us uh, continue uh, evolving to um, the current uh, state, federal, and municipal um, needs, both in elections uh, as well as the various responsibilities um, that the city clerk's office does. And uh, so I'm excited to put this um, this candidate in front of you. Uh, and without further ado. Uh, we have Mary uh, D'Alderete. Thank you, Council President Kushmerik, honorable members of the council, and Madam Clerk, I am so grateful to be here tonight. I am very excited to have been chosen as the candidate for the city clerk. It's a position that I honor and that I am very excited to hit the ground running, as, as uh, Council Kushmerik mentioned. I have been in um, municipal government since 2003. I started as an admin in the Board of Health, and I realized how much I enjoyed working with the public, and I wanted to further my career with that. He mentioned my background being an assistant town clerk, um, and then finally as a town clerk. But the ultimate goal for me is always to serve the residents and citizens of the city with the utmost professionalism and courtesy and efficiency. And I look forward to working with Anna in the next couple of weeks as we have an election coming up. And I look forward to just really getting to know the city and doing my absolute best for you. Councilor Green. Um, thank you and welcome to the board. I've heard nothing but um, accolades of your, for your praise. Thank so you. I appreciate you wanting to take on the responsibility. And um, my only comment is that I didn't hear you mention anything about hand holding for counselors, so um, <laughs> I would just like to hear that just as a confirmation that you are comfortable hand holding. Yes, I, I am very excited to work with each and every one of you, and I look forward to holding whichever hands are available. <laughs> All right, thank you. Councilor Squalia. Um, in your resume, you have some uh, great communications and public relations uh, activities that you participated in, developed a bi-monthly newsletter to keep residents surprised of activities, a design cover of Town Report, and you got an MMA award. Uh, you, you talk about uh, doing uh, voting uh, for the number one dog and the number one dog tag. Um, are, they, are, are any of these kind of activities kind of things that you'd like to bring to the city of Fitchburg? Do you have any, uh, have you looked at the things that we do, anything, any ideas of things that maybe that you'd like to expand upon with public outreach? I truly think that public outreach is so important because the <coughs> city clerk's office is often the first face of the city when people come to visit. And I'm willing to do anything to bring outreach into the um, to the schools, to the residents, whatever we can do. And if you guys have ideas, I'm willing to listen as well. I know that economic development is extremely important in the city of Fitchburg. So I look forward to opportunities that I can take my past experience and perhaps develop some things that might bring the city clerk's office into that role as well. Thank you. You're welcome. Councilor Walsh. Thank you. Um, I just wanted to, to say welcome. Um, it was very uh, nice to, uh, to be in, involved in the process and to um, have an opportunity to hear all of your ideas for, uh, for, for this position. I know you have very large shoes to fill, yes, I do. Um, but uh, I'm sure that uh, working with uh, the current city clerk uh, going forward, I think that you'll be uh, definitely hitting the ground running when you start. So thank, thank you. you. I was remiss in, uh, in including that uh, there'll be almost an entire month uh, overlap, including um, you know some of the most important time in a city clerk's um, uh, yearly cycle uh, of elections. Uh, so, uh, beginning next to this appointment would begin uh, next Monday as uh, city clerk in training, if you will, working alongside uh, Ms. Farrell, uh, and continue for a full month uh, until. Um, uh, Ms. Farrell's last uh, day on the on the job on November 19th, 20th, 27th, 27th. Thank you. Uh, so more than a, more than a full month, um, and uh, okay, uh, and uh, so that, that would allow to allow a crucial uh, period of overlap, um, and I think that's uh, that's important to be able to learn on the job. And I know uh, Ms. Farrell is uh, is you know volunteered and acknowledged to to be available during that uh, that interim. Uh, time uh, period as well of uh, late November through uh, through December uh, until uh, Ms. D'Alderete uh, would then become um, 
of the full-time permanent uh, city clerk. Councilor Boschman. Did I hear you correctly? November 27th? It's your last day? Oh, my God. <laughs> no, and we will certainly you. have an opportunity, <laughs> Councilors, to, to celebrate um, Ms. Harrell's uh, service to the city. May I say something to the new clerk? I just want to welcome you aboard. Get used to me. I talk very loud. So I'm hoping my, my compadre over here on the side of me doesn't go home with a headache. I don't think you're going to either. So welcome aboard. Thank you, sir. Motion to approve. Second. Second. I have a motion and second uh, to approve. <coughs> Um, and uh, confirm the appointment of Ms. Mary D. Alderete as uh, city clerk. Speaking on the motion, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? It is unanimous. Motion carries. So I have a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. I have a motion and second to adjourn. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? We're adjourned. Thank you. We will have the uh, appointments committee in about five minutes. No. Nope. Sorry. No appointments.